إذا الأمجاد قد عظمت فللأمجاد بانيها ومن يسعى إلى العليا سيدركها بما فيها ويبني مجده جدلا فروح الفاذ يعليها ليصبح همة تروي عن العليا مغانيها Assalamu alaikum boys and girls welcome to another crazy exciting episode of the ITV Math Show I'm your host and presenter Muhammad Kota and we're shooting here live from our studios here in Johannesburg South Africa okay give you some feedback for those of you guys who have just joined our show what has happened in 2015 what has happened in 2016 where are we where were we where are we and where are we going to remember everybody needs to be on the same page now today is our opening episode for 2016 and today's episode we are dealing with sequences and series for grade 12 but before we actually get started with our program let's hope that you all have your scientific calculators have your pen and papers ready and have your stationery ready Okay remember 2015 was a crazy year all right the new syllabus came into play the cap syllabus came into play we had topics like geometry which killed almost everyone in the country right everybody's nodding their head yes we know what you are saying is the truth right so we had geometry that killed everyone we had probability that was insane we had the double and compound angles in uh, in uh, trigonometry that 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 totally finished everyone and some of the sequences and series problems as well that were set at a very 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 high level now certain trends and that is the purpose of the show guys we want to keep you updated with the trends in mathematics what is happening in the mathematics world so that you can you can approach math from a more informed perspective okay what had happened in 2015 right is that the level had been upped the level of mathematics had been upped right the country needs to up its level so obviously they piloted it in 2015 yes it might have been a bit of a disaster because we saw the results the results spoke for itself nationally there was a huge decrease in the level of mathematics and the the the, the poor performance in a lot of the schools right schools that were performing went down to underperforming those who are under <coughs> sorry excuse me those who are underperforming performed even worse okay so guys a lot of intervention is required a lot of skill is required a lot of methodology a lot of training is required in order to to prepare everyone whether it's teachers whether it's learners right to prepare everybody to be able to answer what and to 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 accept the demands of what the new curriculum has to offer okay now before we actually get started with with our topic on sequences and series i just want you to know that a lot of the questions that came out remember south africa we, they are moving and looking at the trends from the paper right it's moving right back it's moving back to the old higher grade now the older viewers would would probably associate to this where uh, the old higher grade in the old system there was higher grade and standard grade and the old higher grade questions those are the questions that are slowly creeping in into your grade 12 uh examination so not only is your cap syllabus there remember something you need to prepare yourself for the old higher grade syllabus too we're talking from 1995 right up till say probably 2003 2004 2005 okay so the purpose of the show now is to give you a broad spectrum introduction and explanation of all the mathematical concepts that is required for grade 12 guys let's start with the great uh, grade 12 sequences and series now 2016 99% of all the schools i would say maybe even 100% of the schools all over the uh, the country have started with this topic i know i've i've come across one school that started with calculus but i mean that's that's just like uh, um a needle in a haystack right the rest of them the rest of the schools have started with this topic called sequences and series and this is a continuation from grade 11 sequences we've now added a new component called series and it's a huge component it 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 takes a school the better part of about 3 to 4 weeks in school to be able to deliver this kind of content because it's so huge very important concept it's also paper 1 you'll you write it in paper 1 it's probably question 2 question 3 in math paper 1 so without any further delay guys let's get started with grade 12 sequences and series and we're going to first start off with the first topic which is sequences we'll we get to series later on in the show now remember 
We've only got one hour now, right? Uh, in fact, about 48 minutes to deliver a certain amount of content. So obviously this topic will not be completed in today's show, right? It will continue over a series of episodes. So guys, please make sure that you stay tuned to channel 347 on the ITV Math Show. Okay, let's start with sequences. Sequences are broken up into two components. What am I going to do? Remember there are formula that you need to apply and I'm going to give you mind maps. So now I hope you've got your pen and paper ready. Take out your page right there on the top sequences and draw this mind map. This is a mind map so that you're going to memorize it. When you are done with it, these formulas need to be branded on your mind because when you're working out a problem, you don't have time to keep on flipping over to a formula sheet in the exam. You need to know what are the formulas that pertain to your question and how to apply those formulas when you're given a word problem in your final examination. So let's start. Sequences broken up into two components, guys. Arithmetic. And I know the rest of you are all screaming out there. Geometric. And yes, you would be correct. Right. Arithmetic sequence. Now, what is a sequence? For those of you who, have, who are being introduced to the topic, what is a sequence? A sequence is a, a sequence of numbers. So, let's say 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. It's a sequence, right? It's a number pattern. So, what we want to do here is we want to find out what is the 100th term, what is the 200th term, without having to physically go and write out the entire pattern, right? We want to create a general formula that we can just plug in values in order to get our, our answer. So, sequence is broken up into two parts, arithmetic and geometric. Arithmetic, I'm just writing out our formulas before we cut for an ad break. We've got Tn is equal to A plus n minus 1 times d. I'll explain to you what each of these components represent. And then it's got a common difference. There we go, common difference. How do we get our common difference? We say t3 minus t2 is equal to t2 minus t1. And this you've been introduced to in school already. Remember, n represents your, num your a certain term, and tn is the value of that term. So n represents a term, any term. The 10th term, the 20th term, the 50th term. Tn represents the value of the nth term. A represents what we know, what is known as our first term. The first term, A, 2. And D is our common difference, guys. The common difference in arithmetic. Arithmetic is the only one that has a common difference. From 2 to get to 5, we added 3. From 5 to get to 8, we add 3. So obviously the next term is also going to be plus 3. It's going to be 11 plus 3, 14 plus 3, 17 plus 3, 20. And it will go on like that to infinity. Okay? Something that's very important that I want you to, to realize in an arithmetic sequence is that when they talk about, say, term 7, term 7, T7, it is known as a plus 6d. Very, very important. Remember, because it's n minus 1. Remember your formula, a plus n minus 1. So 7 minus 1 is 6. So term 7 is known as a plus 6d. Term 20, a plus 19d. T term 50, a plus 49d. Term 100, a plus 99d. The geometric formula, tn is equal to a r to the power n minus 1, where r represents your common ratio. Your common ratio, right? And how do we get our common ratio? We say term 3 divided by term 2 is equal to term 2 divided by term 1. Important to remember, term 7 here will be known as AR to the power 6. Okay, for now, take down this mind map, right? You've got some time now. Take down, as I've explained, I will explain to you what a geometric sequence looks like. When we get back from the break, I will then be giving you, explaining to you, giving you an overview, another mind map on series and all its formula. It's going to be a little hectic. It is intensive. It is a big topic. Make sure you are taking this down. Keep it. Get it. Get ready for it. Analyze it. You've got three minutes. We're cutting now for an ad break. I'll see you guys in three minutes time where we'll actually start with our mind map on the series. Guys, enjoy your break. Boys and girls, welcome back to the ITV Math Show. I'm your host and presenter, Mohammed Kota. 
we left you before the break with a with a mind map the mind map was the introduction to sequences and series for grade 12s now we started i told you guys that sequences broken up into two parts arithmetic and geometric the arithmetic formula there is your formula that's your general formula tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d it's got a common difference your common difference Here's your common difference. How do we calculate? We know, we can see it's got a common difference of 3. But how is it calculated? We say term 3. Remember, that's term 1, term 2, term 3. Term 3 minus term 2 is equal to term 2 minus term 1. So there we go. Term 3 minus term 2 is equal to term 2 minus term 1. So 8 minus 5, 3. 5 minus 2, 3. So it's got a common difference of 3. Something also important for you to remember. Remember, that's a formula. You've got two formulas for arithmetic sequence. Now you've got term 7. Term 7, like we said, in, when you convert it into sequence language, will be known as A plus 6D. Term 10, A plus 9D. Term 14, A plus 13D. Okay? Remember, N minus 1. So we just subtract 1 from the term. Geometric, Tn is equal to AR to the power N minus 1. A is still representing. When we analyze this, in our previous segment, we said A represents your first term, D represents your common difference, N is a term, which we don't know, it's a general term, and TN would represent the value of that term. So say we talk about the 10th term, and the value of the 10th term is 2000. Then the value of the 10th term, so you'd put 10 there and you put 2000 there. Geometric, TN is equal to A, A still represents your first term, but it's got a common ratio. And let's do an example of what this would look like. Look at this, 2... 4, 8, 16, 32, mm, 64, 1, 2, 8, 2, 56, 5, 1, 2, 1, 0, 2, 4, 2, 0, 5, 6. It will go on to infinity. Okay, that is geometric. You can see from 2 to get to 4, you can't say it's arithmetic because you'll say it's plus 2. If you said it was arithmetic, 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6, but it's not 6 because your third term here is 8. So it cannot be arithmetic. It must be something else. If it's not arithmetic, it must be geometric. So, let's see. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 is 8. Times 2 is 16. So, if you had to continue this pattern, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, times 2 would give me 128. And that's how the pattern would continue. Now, arithmetic means plus. Can you see the positive sign? Separating the terms. Here you have multiplication. Your first term times your common ratio will give me my second term. My second term times that same common ratio will give me... We've got a common ratio. So here we know our A value. A is 2. There's it. That's your first term. What is your common ratio? Now how do we calculate? There's a formula to calculate it. Term 3 divided by term 2 must equal to term 2 divided by term 1. So 8 over 4 is 2. 4 over 2 is 2. So there we go. We know it's got a common ratio of 2. Term 7, AR to the power 6. Term 10, AR to the power 9. Term 20, AR to the power tw uh, 19. Why? Because we've got N minus 1 in our formula. Right? So guys, I hope you've taken this down. That's our sequence. Right? I hope you guys are recording these shows. If you guys do have PVR at home, the PVR facility, the recording facility, record all these shows. You can also go onto the itvnetworks.tv, right? It won't be uploaded immediately. But uh, within a couple of days, go onto the ITV Math Show uh, icon, click on there, all our previous episodes will be, will be uploaded. For those of you who have the DVDs and you are working through our DVD set, remember our DVD sets are for sale and you can contact us on uh, the, the number that's appearing on your screen, 081-706-3986. That's the number to call. Call us, get the DVDs with the workbook. You can start working. It covers the entire grade 11 and 12 syllabus over, over 12 discs with a com complete comprehensive workbook. Okay, So you'll be using what we're doing on the show. You'll be using the DVDs. You'll be using your notes. Whatever, these are your resource material in order for you to master your content. Okay, Guys, let's start now with series. So these are sequence. And sequence, how do we generally identify a sequence? It has got a semicolon. Like we had 2, 5, 8, 11. It's separated by a semicolon. So you know it's a sequence. Right? Now, but we're not saying that all 
sequence, uh, only sequences are separated by a semicolon. Sometimes a series, series can also be, but they will use the word sum in it. I'll explain to you now when we get to series. So now we're done with sequence formula. We haven't yet started with the examples or with the application of it. Put the heading, rule off, or get a new page. Take out a new page, a new blank page. Turn it landscape, right? So take your, take your page. Don't keep it that way. Do it this way, right? So we're going to be doing, take your page landscape. I'm going to be giving you another mind map. So let's now start with series. <coughs> what is the purpose of me giving you these mind maps so that you know exactly what the topic comprises of. Now series is also broken up into two parts. Firstly, how do we identify a series? You'd have it, it looks like a sequence. 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 11. Remember the previous one we had a semicolon in a series, it's separated by a plus or a minus. When we, are, when we deal with series, we are dealing with the sum. We are adding, we are, we are dealing with the sum or the total of all the terms, right? So whenever you, if you have a sequence and you are finding the total of that sequence, it becomes a series. Whenever you are summing a sequence, it becomes a series, okay? Now series is broken up into two parts, guys. And some of you are saying arithmetic and geometric. You are wrong. It's broken up into finite and infinite or infinite. What does the word finite mean? A series broke, so series broken up into one that ends and one that doesn't end, one that goes on to infinity, right? Finite, finite guys, is broken up into two parts. Finite is broken up into arithmetic and geometric, okay? Broken up into two parts, arithmetic and geometric. Infinite is not broken up into, it's also broken up into two parts, but not arithmetic and geometric. Infinite is only geometric. Why? If I tell you 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, dot, 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 going on to infinity, find me the sum. Can you find the sum? No, you can't. Can you find the total of that sequence? No. So it cannot be arithmetic. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 is arithmetic. But in geometric, when you add on more terms, the total will either move towards a number or it will move away from a certain number. So infinite is only geometric and that's also broken up into two parts. Part one, which we call convergent. Convergent means that as we add more and more terms to the series, the total will come towards, will move towards a certain number. And divergent. Divergent meaning that the more and more terms we add, the further and further away from a certain number the sum would move. Okay, so let's start with infinite. Infinite is broken up into, so here goes, here goes, let me explain to you this again. So series, picture this. I know some of you are saying, get out of my way, we're still writing. Relax, just picture this. Forget about what you're doing. Series is broken up into two parts, arithmetic and geometric. Right? Uh, sorry, series is broken up into two parts, uh, finite and infinite. Finite is broken up into two parts, arithmetic and geometric. Infinite broken up into two parts. It's only geometric, but it's broken up into two parts, um, convergent and divergent. Okay, guys, we are now cutting for an ad break. We are now cutting for an ad break. When we get back, I will be continuing to complete this. We are now going to fill out all the formula that will go under all these topics, right? Once we are done with the mind maps, then we will start step by step doing exam type questions to prepare you and showing you how to use the mind map and how to use all the formula in order to get the quickest, shortest result for your sequences and series in your final exam. Boys and girls, enjoy your break. Welcome boys and girls, welcome back to the show. For those of you who have just joined us, we are doing sequences and series. I've given you the sequence mind map. I told you that just to quickly recap, sequences broken up into two parts, arithmetic and geometric, right? Uh, arithmetic, 
the formula Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 times D. And it's got, a, if you've taken it down, I just want you to quickly refer to your notes, right? And then it's got a common difference. T3 minus T2 is equal to T2 minus T1, right? That's the formula for calculating your common difference. Then we have a geometric sequence. Tn is equal to AR to the power N minus 1. A representing your first term, R representing your common ratio, the formula for calculating R. As I explained in the previous segment, T3 over T2 is equal to T2 over T1. For those of you who have missed it, go on to the itvnetworks.tv website, click on the ITV Math Show and upload today's program. It's not going to be uploaded immediately within a couple of days and go through the previous segments. Right, we're now done with, C uh, we then did series, series broken up into two parts, finite and infinite, arithmetic, geometric, infinite is only geometric geometric convergent and divergent series now finite arithmetic is has got two formulas sn now we are finding the sum that's why we use sn we don't use tn like a sequence tn we are finding a term that's why we say tn sn represents the sum we're finding the total of that series so in arithmetic sn is equal to n over 2 into a plus l if the last term is given. So if the last term was given, so say for example I told you 2, five, two plus 5 plus 8 plus 11 plus dot 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 131 and that's your last term. So if your last term is given, there's it, it's arithmetic, it's finite, it ends and the last term, there's your L, Last term is given, we're going to use this formula, this formula to find the sum of that series. So we got one where the last term is given, and we got Sn formula, one where the last term is not given. So n over 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, so last term given, that's why it's got an L. Last term not given, you use the second formula. We then go into geometric, right? Now, in geometric, we can have two scenarios. One where your common ratio is larger than 1, and one where your common ratio is a fraction. Okay, so you're going to have one where R is greater than 1, where your common ratio is greater than 1, so you're going to have a formula for that, and one where R is less than 1 but greater than negative 1. So here we can say where R is a whole number or where R is a fraction. So if R is a whole number, we're going to use Sn is equal to A into r to the power n minus 1 over r minus 1. And where r is a fraction, we're going to say sn is equal to a into 1 minus r to the power n over 1 minus r. Okay, so there, that's your finite formula. Finite, arithmetic, two formula, geometric, two formula for finite. Let's go on to infinite. What is convergent, divergent? Convergent is when infinity. So I can tell you 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus dot 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 going on to infinity. That is, that, that is a geometric series. Now, when r is less than 1 but greater than minus 1, meaning where r is a fraction, in this case r is a whole number. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8, so r is a whole number. So you got where r is greater than 1, then you know it is divergent. Where r is less than 1, where r is a fraction, then it is a convergent series, right? It's a no-brainer. So sometimes in the exam, they might ask you, does the above series, and you know you've come across this question in the exam, does the above series converge or diverge? Just calculate R. If you calculate R and R is a fraction, it converges, and if it is a whole number, it diverges. What is the two formula? S to infinity is equal to A over 1 minus R, that's for convergent, or S to infinity is equal to A over r minus 1 okay and that is where for divergent series where r is a whole number so here goes guys that is your complete i told you to make your page landscape those of you who didn't listen to me and still kept your page portrait you'd be squeezing in all these formula you're going to have to redo it so sometimes it pays to listen right so put it down i told you put it series take your page make it landscape i hope you've got this entire mind map down we're now going to go into exam style questions starting from level one questions under sequences and building you up right up to we've got one more component after this which is sigma notation but that ends up series that is also to do with the sum so that's not a separate component completely it's part of summing a series so don't stress 
Grade 12, I know you know what I'm talking about because you have started with this at school already. Okay, so this is, for many of you, this is just revision, right? Now that you've got this down, I told you, you can put it on PVR, press pause, get this thing down, make sure it's down, and let's get started with our examples. Okay, we're now going on, we're going right back. We're going back to sequences. We're going back to sequence, and let's start with word problems. Exam style questions. I'm going directly into exam style questions, and let's put the exam style question type number one. Right, we're now going into arithmetic. They tell you, in, so if you want to in the exam, you can, uh, in your books, put their type one. Exam type question one, and we are dealing with arithmetic sequence. Right, so they tell you, in an arithmetic sequence, the fifth term is 4 and the 11th term is 100. Find the sequence. Right, question like this in the exam, 5 marks. That's your question. This is where you're going to start answering. Now, that, this is an exam type question, obviously, where two random terms are given. Can you see? The fifth term is given and the eleventh term. So, there's a certain art. There's a certain process in which this, these type of problems need to be unfolded. Right? So, whenever, I want you to remember this rule. Whenever two random terms are given. So, in this case, the fifth term and the eleventh term. It could be the sixth term and the twentieth term, the tenth term and the five hundredth term. As long as two random terms are given, so write this rule down. Whenever two random terms are given, we will always use simultaneous equations. Okay? Whenever two random terms are given, we will always be using simultaneous equations. So let's start. Let's start. We've got term 5. Term 5 is known as A plus 4D. Remember from our mind map, I told you what's important to remember term 7. Go back to your mind map. I put there term 7. Term 7 is A plus 6D. So term 5 is A plus 4D. So A plus 4D, and they give us its value, 4 is equal to 4. And that is equation number 1. They also give you term 11. So what is term 11 known as? A plus 10D. And A plus 10D is 100. They give it to us. And that is equation number 2. What do we need to do here, guys? What are we solving for? We, what, did, what does the question say? Find the sequence. So we need to find A, our first step, and we need to find our common difference. Because if I find A, listen carefully, we need to find A and D in arithmetic. Why? Because if I find A, that's my first term. And I find my common difference. Then my first term plus my common difference will give me my second term. My second term plus my common difference will give me my third term. And it will go on like that to infinity. So I only need to solve for A and D. So let's solve for A and D. There's two ways of doing it, right? I'm going to say equation 2 minus equation number 1. I'm doing it by elimination. I'm doing it by the system of elimination. I'm eliminating the A's. So I'm saying equation 2 minus equation 1. So A minus A, 0. 10D minus 4D, 6D. 100 minus 4, 96. So we got 6D is equal to 96. Solve for D. Remember, your A's cancelled out. Divide by 6, divide by 6. D is equal to 96 over 6 is 16. So now we've got our common difference. We now need A. So now we say substitute 16 for D in any equation. Let's do it in equation number 2. So what do we have? A plus 10D is equal to 100. We're solving now for A. So A plus 10 into 16 is equal to 100. A plus 16 times 10 is 160 is equal to 100. So A is equal to, therefore, A is equal to 100 minus 160 a is equal to minus 60. So there we go, guys. We've got A. We've got our first term. We've got our common difference. Right? Let's see what is our sequence. So if our, my first term is minus 60, my common difference is positive 16. So minus 60 plus 16. Minus 60 plus 16. Minus 44. Plus 16. Minus 28. 
and the sequence will carry on to infinity and that is your final answer guys that is your sequence you found the sequence you got yourself five marks okay guys i hope you're taking this one down i hope you've understood it two random terms are given simultaneous equations equation number one equation number two solve for a and d once you got a once you got d you've got your sequence guys we're cutting for an ad break i'm not going to ask you to do anything during the ad break just process the this volume of information that's coming through to you within the next three minutes and i'll see you guys after the break enjoy the show Guys, welcome back to the ITV Math Show. I left you guys before the break. You, I gave you guys some time to process all the information that was filtered through to you within the first three segments. Right? We we done type one arithmetic sequence where they give you two random terms, and I told you you're going to use simultaneous equations in order to get your solution. Okay. Now we're going on to type 2. Still under arithmetic sequence, exam type question number 2. Now, for those of you who have purchased our DVD sets, you, these questions are recurring questions, right? So please make sure that you, you'll find them quite familiar. But remember, you need to practice on them over and over and over again, right? All this content, all this content for grade 11 and 12, remember, is on our DVD pack. The, great, the, 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 the ITV and K-Way math production, uh, 12 discs with a workbook. You guys have seen the advert that is being played on ITV all the time. We're running a special at the moment at 1450, right? If you guys want to order, you guys can place your orders now. WhatsApp, you get best way to place the order is to either call us or WhatsApp us on 081-706-3986. 3986 Buy our DVDs, get the DVD set every humanly possible process that we know with regard to mathematics for grade 11 and 12 is on the pack and it's a live production like how you're watching it on tv now plug and play take out the dvd you've got a problem on sequences and series put in the dvd we'll come up live showing you step by step how it's done right how to attack math so here goes right so don't waste time order now <laughs> right let's go on they're laughing in the studio right so, Let's go exam type question number two. They tell you 3x minus 4, 4x minus 3, 7x minus 6 are the first three terms, are the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence, right? Find the sequence. Now, guys, what is the difference between type 1 and type 2? Have a look at it. Type 1... Type 1, two random terms were given. A random term and another random term, and we told you to use simultaneous equations. Here, the sequence is given to you, but there are unknowns. There are unknowns in your sequence. So this is your idea. These are your, your, your indicators that this now will form part of type 2. So your next rule is, whenever unknowns are given, whenever unknowns, whenever unknowns are given in arithmetic, we're going to be using the common difference formula. Whenever unknowns are given in geometric, we'll be using the common ratio formula to solve for the unknown. Okay, so that's a rule. Whenever unknowns are given in an arithmetic se sequence, we'll be using the common difference formula to, to solve for x. Or whenever unknowns are given in a geometric sequence, we'll be using the common ratio formula to solve for x so what is this they tell you are the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence of an arithmetic sequence so which formula will we be using the common difference formula and where do we get the common difference formula from obviously from the mind map that i gave you go back to the mind map at the beginning of the show i gave you a mind map the, the formula for the common difference formula t3 minus t2 is equal to t2 minus t1 Right? That's the importance of that mind map. Because now we are choosing the formula. We are taking the formula from the mind map and we are applying it to given scenarios. So here goes T3 minus T2 is equal to T2 minus T1. Let's see if you guys can take it down. Come on. Solve for X. Solve for X. Take it down. Do term 3 minus term 2 is equal to term 2 minus term 1. Let's see what you get for X. Let's see what you guys get for X. What? We do have 7x minus 6 minus 4x minus 3 
is equal to 4x minus 3, term 2, minus term 1, minus 3x minus 4. Let's solve for x. Go for it. Simple, straightforward equation. Come on, guys. Work fast. 7x minus 6 minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 4x minus 3 minus 3x plus 4. Remember, negative times negative is a positive. 7x minus 4x, 3x. Minus 6 plus 3, minus 3, is equal to 4x minus 3x, is x. Minus 3 plus 4 is 1. 3x minus 1x, 2x, is equal to 1 plus 3 is 4. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x is equal to 2. Right? We've just solved for x. Here the question didn't ask you to solve for x. You know you had to solve for x because after you solve for x, now you, the question says find the sequence. So now all you're going to do is you're going to take this and plug it in. You're going to plug it into that, into the first, the second, and the third term. So here goes. The first term is 3 times 2. That's x, 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Minus 3 is 5. 7 times 2 is 14. Minus 6 is 8. And there we go. That are the f those are the first three terms. 2, 5, 8. Using the common difference formula in order to solve for x and resubstitute it back into the problem. Okay, so that is type 2, arithmetic sequence, done. Let's now go on to geometric, right? We, like I said, guys, we are not going to complete everything in this one show. It's going to go over a series of shows, right? So please make sure that you are paying attention and that you are following our series religiously, okay? Let's quickly go. In fact, we don't have time to go on to geometric. I'm going to leave that for our next show. Let's just do a quick recap, guys, of what we have done today. Right? We've done sequences. Right? If you've got your mind map in front of you, take out your mind map, look at your sequence mind map. Let's, let's go through it quickly. Sequences broken up into two parts, arithmetic and geometric. Arithmetic Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 times D, and it's got a common difference. T3 minus T2 is equal to T2 minus T1. Then you've got geometric. Tn is equal to AR to the power N minus 1. It's got a common ratio. T3 over T2 is equal to T2 over T1. Okay, that is your mind map for your sequences. Then you've got series. Series broken up into two parts, finite and infinite. Finite broken up into two parts, arithmetic and geometric. Sn equals N over 2 into A plus L if last term is given in an arithmetic finite. Uh, uh, in a arithmetic finite. Sn equals n over 2 into a plus l. Or Sn equals n over 2 into 2a two plus n minus 1 times d if your last term is not given. Right? Please remember what I'm saying now. You're following through on your mind map which I gave you earlier. Then you've got geometric. Geometric finite broken up into two parts. Sn formula. Sn equals a into r to the power n minus 1 over r minus 1 if r is greater than 1, if r is a whole number. Or Sn equals a into 1 minus r to the power n over 1 minus r if r is a fraction. Then we've got infinite. Infinite is only geometric, but geometric broken up into two components. Convergent, divergent. Convergent when r is a fraction, right? S to infinity equals A over 1 minus R, or divergent where R is a whole number, S to infinity is equal to, or R greater than 1, S to infinity is equal to A, uh, a over R minus 1. Guys, that is it. We've done some examples. I hope you guys have enjoyed the show. I hope you're following. Remember, stay tuned to our show. Check your local times. Check your listings. ITVnetworks.tv. You guys want to send in uh, questions, queries, comments, you can even send it to our email address, kwaymath. K -way -m -a -t -h, K -w -a -y -m -a -t -h, K-Way Math at gmail.com. Or if you'd like to order our DVD sets, the ones that we're advertising on TV, which is a must for every grade 11 and 12 learner in the country, you need the set. Call us, WhatsApp us, contact us, 081-706-3986. 081-706-3986. That is the only number you need to know for maths. From me, your host and presenter, I'm out of here. الجاد قد عظمات فللأمجاد بانيها ومن يسعى إلى العليا سيدركها بما فيها ويبني مجده جدلا فروح الفاد يعليها ليصبح همة تروي عن العليا ما